Hello everyone. Today in this video we will learn all about TTY mode. So without wasting any more time let's get started. Socializing has become an integral part of our daily life. According to research, a normal human being spends approximately 4-7 hours of their daily life talking on a mobile phone. People who are physically and mentally healthy can easily communicate using their mobile. People who are physically impaired cannot use their mobile phones like normal people. For such people, our smartphones come with TTY mode about which we will talk in detail further in this article. Below in this article, we have mentioned different types of TTY mode and the procedure of activating and deactivating it. So, without wasting time further, let's get started with the main thread. TTY mode name originates from ill typewriter, which is a machine that is used by dumb and deaf people who cannot speak or listen to communicate by typing, the message is sent over wire or radio waves. These teletypewriter machines are huge, hence one cannot carry it from one place to another. Therefore, our smartphone comes with TTY mode that offers the functioning of a teletypewriter. What is TTY mode? Most of the smartphones are adapted with a special mode called TTY mode that helps physically impaired people using the mobile phone. TTY mode is specially made for people who are deaf or dumb. When turned on, this mode changes the way a normal smartphone functions. It allows a person to communicate by typing on a standard call. How to activate TTY mode in Android? Almost every version of Android, either KitKat or Android 10, comes with an inbuilt TTY mode. The method of activating TTY mode can differ from one Android version to another, yet the basic steps remain the same in all versions. For better understanding, we have break down the procedure into simple steps that are easy to follow. Procedure 1 for stock Android devices. Open phone dealer. Therein on the top right, click on the three dots. After that, click on settings. In the setting menu, you will find accessibility click on it. On the next window, you will find TTY mode turn it in. Procedure 2 for other operating systems, me, color OS, etc. Go to the setting. Now search for accessibility in the setting search bar. Inside the accessibility window, you will find time mode turn it on. Note, the procedure mentioned above is compatible with most of the Android version and other operating systems. The procedure may become obsolete with further operating system updates. How to activate TTY mode in iPhone The method of enabling TTY mode in the iPhone is very simple. Mostly in all the iOS operating system, the procedure for enabling TTY mode is the same. For better understanding, we have described the procedure in steps below. Procedure Go to the setting In settings, search for a phone option Inside the phone window, you will find time mode Click on it to enable it Note, the method mentioned above is working fine with the latest iOS update It might become obsolete with the future iOS update What is the use of TTY mode? TTY mode is especially for people who are physically impaired deaf or dumb To a person physically healthy this mode may seem useless, but for a physically impaired person, TTY mode is a blessing. Dumb or deaf people cannot talk on the phone like a normal person. They use a machine called teletypewriter to communicate. These teletypewriter machines are huge in size. Hence these machines cannot be carried from one place to another easily. As a portable alternative, the TTY mode provides aid in communication to such people. Almost every smartphone comes with an inbuilt TTY mode with various features. But if users want, they can install a third-party TTY application. TTY application converts the voice conversation into text and vice versa on the point. A person can use the inbuilt phone keyboard to type or can connect an external teletypewriter to communicate. Types of TTY mode In the majority of the devices, there are four types or sub-mode of TTY mode. These modes allow a person to choose the way they want TTY mode to work. Let understand each of them individually for better clarification. TTY foldless is the normal TTY mode wherein both the people on the call type to communicate. This mode is used when neither of the two people on either end of the call can speak. 
ETYHCO The HCO stands for Hear and Carry Over. In this mode, messages are sent as a text from our end and are received as audio on the other end, but the reply is received as audio. TTYHCO mode is useful if you, as a sender, are dumb cannot speak, but the person on the other end can listen, then this mode comes in use. TTYHCO coverts your text message to audio but replies are received as audio. TTYVCO The VCO stands for voice carryover. In this mode, the messages from our end are sent as audio and are received as text on the other end. TTYVCO mode is useful as you as a sender are physically fur or blind, and the receiver is deaf. This mode comes in use. TTYVCO mode converts the audio into text and replies are received as audio as well. Conclusion TTY mode sounds useless for a normal person, but it is a charm for those who are physically impaired dumb or deaf. TTY mode allows such people to communicate over the mobile phone without using the teletypewriter machine. I hope by now you have enough knowledge related to TTY mode. Here we have mentioned all the relevant details about the TTY mode. If you still have any doubts or queries, feel free to ask me down in the comment section.